Whether you can't get motivated to clean your house or you just aren't feeling motivated to lose weight, a lack of motivation can be the biggest obstacle to reaching your goals. When you have no motivation to complete a task or even start one, consider the possible reasons why you're struggling. Then, develop a plan to help motivate yourself to get going. Here are 7 ways to keep you motivated. Watch the video until the end because this technique can make your life better. 1. Act as if you feel motivated. You may be able to trick yourself into feeling motivated by changing your behavior. Act as if you feel motivated, and your actions may change your emotions. For example, rather than sit on the couch in your pajamas all day waiting for motivation to strike, get dressed and get moving. Taking action will increase your motivation, which makes it easier to keep going. So ask yourself, what would I be doing right now if I felt motivated? Consider what you'd be wearing, how you'd be thinking, and what actions you'd be taking. Then, do these things, and see if your motivation level increases. 2. Argue the opposite. When you're struggling with motivation, you'll likely come up with a long list of reasons why you shouldn't take any action. You might think, it'll be too hard, or, I'll never get it done anyway. These types of thoughts will keep you stuck. Try arguing the opposite. When you think you're going to fail, discuss all the reasons why you might succeed. Or when you feel you can't finish a job, list all the evidence that shows you'll be able to complete the task. Arguing the opposite can help you see both ends of the spectrum. It can also remind you that an overly pessimistic outcome isn't completely accurate. There's a chance that things might work out better than you expect. And you might find that developing a more balanced outlook will help you feel more motivated to try. 3. Practice self-compassion. You might think being hard on yourself is the key to getting motivated. But harsh self-criticism doesn't work. Research shows that self-compassion is actually much more motivating, especially when you are struggling with adversity. Self-compassion may also improve mental health, which can increase motivation. A 2012 study published in Clinical Psychology Review discovered that self-compassion decreases psychological distress, reduces the symptoms of anxiety and depression, and reduces the harmful effects of stress. So rather than beat yourself up for mistakes or call yourself names, create a kinder inner dialogue. This doesn't mean you need to repeat exaggeratedly positive affirmations like, I'm the best person in the world, however. Speak to yourself like a trusted friend. Ask yourself, what would I say to a friend who had this problem? You'd likely be much kinder to someone else than you are toward yourself. So start treating yourself like a good friend. Additionally, coach yourself in a helpful manner. Practice using self-talk that encourages you and helps you recover from setbacks. 4. Use the 10-minute rule. When you dread doing something, like walking on the treadmill for 3 miles, you'll lack motivation to do it. You can reduce your feelings of dread, however, by proving to yourself that the task isn't as bad as you think or that you have the strength to tolerate it better than you envision. The 10-minute rule can help you get started. Give yourself permission to quit a task after 10 minutes. When you reach the 10-minute mark, ask yourself if you want to keep going or stop. You'll likely find that you have enough motivation to keep going. So whether you lack the motivation to start working on a boring report or you can't seem to get yourself off the couch to create a to-do list, use the 10-minute rule to motivate yourself to take action. Getting started on a task is usually the hardest part. Once you get going, however, it's much easier to keep going. 5. Go for a walk in nature. Fresh air, a change of scenery, and a little exercise can do wonders for your motivation. Walking in nature, as opposed to a busy urban street, can be especially beneficial. So rather than walk down a crowded street, go to the park or a botanical garden instead. Being surrounded by nature can provide the mental escape you need to return to your project feeling more motivated than before. 6. Pair a dreaded task with something you enjoy. Your emotions play a major role in your motivation level. If you're sad, bored, lonely, or anxious, your desire to tackle a tough challenge or complete a tedious task will suffer. Boost your mood by adding a little fun to something you're not motivated to do. 
You'll feel happier, and you might even look forward to doing the task when it's regularly paired with something fun. Here are some examples. Listen to music while you run. Call a friend and talk while you're cleaning the house. Light a scented candle while you're working on your computer. Rent a luxury vehicle when you travel for business. Invite a friend to run errands with you. Turn on your favorite show while you're folding laundry. Just make sure that your fun doesn't impair your performance. For example, watching TV while writing a paper might distract you and slow you down even more. Or talking to a friend while you're cleaning the house might be so distracting that you can't pay attention to what you're doing. 7. Manage your to-do list. It's tough to feel motivated when your to-do list is overwhelming. If you feel like there's no hope of getting everything done, you might not try to do anything. Take a look at your to-do list and determine if it's too long. If so, get rid of tasks that aren't essential. See if other tasks can be moved to a different day. Prioritize the most important things on the list and move those to the top. You might find a slight change in your to-do list or the way you view your to-do list will help you to see your tasks as more manageable. As a result, you might feel more motivated to get to work. 8. Reward yourself for working. Create a small reward for yourself that you can earn for your hard work. You might find that focusing on the reward helps you stay motivated to reach your goals. For example, if you have a long paper to write for class, you might tackle it in several different ways. Write 500 words, and then take a 10-minute break. Eat one piece of chocolate after 30 minutes of work. Write one page a day, and then remind yourself that when you're done, you'll have free time to do whatever you want. Work for 20 minutes, and then spend 5 minutes checking social media. When you complete the paper, allow yourself to go out with friends. Consider whether you are likely to be more motivated by smaller, more frequent rewards or a bigger reward for a complete job. You should experiment with a few different strategies until you discover an approach that works best for you. Make sure your rewards don't sabotage your efforts, however. Rewarding your hard work at the gym with a sugary treat might be counterproductive. And counterproductive bad habits will decrease your motivation in the long term. Now that you've learned some powerful strategies to overcome a lack of motivation and reach your goals, which of these techniques are you most excited to try in your daily life? Please share your thoughts, and let's inspire each other to stay motivated and achieve success.